Would you believe it if I told you that sound waves move through the air like ripples do in water? Well, it's true. Sound waves are actually vibrations of air molecules. The more vibration, the bigger the sound. We know that because scientists have developed ways to see sound. At NASA, being able to see sound helps us to understand how sound works. Have you ever heard a really loud airplane fly overhead? Airplane noise can be really annoying. Making airplanes quieter is one of NASA's biggest challenges. Meet the X-59, NASA's newest X-plane. The X-59 will break the sound barrier without creating a loud sonic boom. Now it's your turn. Let's create a way for you to see sound. To start, take a large balloon and cut off its neck. This is to make the opening larger and allow the balloon to be stretched more easily over the PVC pipe. Now, stretch the balloon over one end of the pipe, making something that looks like a drum, and use duct tape to secure it. Make sure the balloon is stretched as tight as possible. If you tap the surface, it should vibrate. Next, glue a small square of mirror to the center of the balloon. Hold it firmly for a few seconds to allow the glue to dry before letting it go. Once the glue has dried, turn the drum on its side with the balloon end facing a wall. Using duct tape, firmly secure the device to the table so it can't move. In order for the laser to stand out, the wall should be light colored. If it isn't, tape a sheet of white paper on the wall. Remove the laser pointer from its case and, if necessary, install the batteries. Safety note, be sure to avoid shining the laser directly into anyone's eyes. Place the tripod on the table to one side of the drum. Insert the laser pointer into the cradle on the top making sure that the cradle is keeping the laser pointer's button firmly in the on position. Lastly, align the laser dot so that the beam of light is aimed at the mirror on the balloon and reflected onto the wall. At this point, the reflection on the wall should resemble a dot with very little movement. Now, speak into the open end of the pipe and watch the effect it has on the dot. Change the volume of your voice and see how that affects the dot. Try a big laugh, a whisper, or a whistle. Snap your fingers, clap your hands, make as many different sounds as you can. Try other audio sources like a speaker or even a musical instrument. Lastly, see what happens when you use a tuning fork to create a sound. To do this, strike the fork firmly on the activator to start it vibrating. Then, place it gently against the skin of the balloon. Notice the shape this sound makes compared to the other examples. Now that you've tested some basic sounds, it's time for some fun. Try different kinds of music playing on the speaker. Can you predict what a particular song may look like? You've now made sound energy visible. Great work.